Hey kids, welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4. So, last episode, Plantation Bay hit 100,000 inhabitants. In this episode, we are going to finally get outside of this city tile here and start building in some of the adjacent tiles. So, I'm just going to show the transportation map here. Uh, we can see that we've got this rail ring road in black there, and then we've got these these railroads kind of kind of um, go moving out towards other other towns. So what I'd like to do is create some sort of small towns that that uh, that kind of feed into Plantation Bay, and I've I've done off screen I've I've put trees all over these tiles so that we don't have to sort of sit and watch that. And uh, I've also come up with some names for these cities. So let's start. Uh, let's start with um, one of these smaller tiles. And yeah, we are going to focus on make, keeping a rail connection, and I think we'll also build some ferry connections. So in this tile, we've got a kind of a little bit of river going through here. And then we've also got this uh, this kind of hill here, uh, and I think the hill is sort of the dominant feature of this this tile. So I'm going to call this Mount Auburn. And uh, for the time being, you can see that we we mostly have commercial and industrial demand. Um, that's because there's probably too many residents in in Plantation Bay, and uh, you know, but I want to make these towns residential, so I'm going to start by zoning them residential, and then I'll, I'll go back to Plantation Bay and kind of adjust, you know, build some more, some more um, commercial and industrial in in Plantation Bay. And I think at some point, some of these some of these towns will will start to have a different function, you know, industrial or commercial or otherwise. But for now, so let's put a ferry here. I'm going to build this town here at the foot, kind of at the foot of this. Uh, this hill. I like to build these cities kind of in respect to the geography of the tile and everything. So I think we'll build a road that goes straight to the foot of the hill. And then we'll kind of work on that design and then maybe we'll put the rail station Maybe this would be kind of the downtown area, and we'll put the rail station like here. And where is my rail connection? It's here. Okay. Rail is a very cheap way to uh, to connect cities overall. It, uh, it carries a lot of traffic very quickly, whereas a standard road connection will uh, will will tend to have more traffic problems earlier. Uh, obviously, later on we'll be building things like highways and stuff, but I'm still focused on this kind of 19th century type type of development. Um, I also think it's really interesting to build these small towns because if you look at the development of a lot of really big cities, as they expand, they kind of gobble up small towns. So at some point, I think Plantation Bay will absolutely expand uh, to to kind of encompass these small towns. There we go. Climbing up that hill. Maybe we can start by putting a, a little central common or park there. All right, I'm going to put some uh, some medium density residential right close to right close to this transportation infrastructure and the rest of the town is going to be 
a, lower, a much lower density. I should probably build some kind of road like that. Maybe this can be built out across the tracks. waste of money. <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to build any buses. They can drive to uh, either the train station or the ferry. Also going to need to put in place. We're gonna need to put in place uh, power and all that stuff as well. There we go. Nice little town. Let's. I'm gonna use a coal power plant for now. Put it uh, over here. Towns a fair amount of services as well. I'll just put a water tower here. I will put a beach at some point in this town. Just need to fiddle around with that terrain a bit. So that's water, power. Let's give them. services. I think we're pretty much ready to go here. I'm probably just going to advance the clock a bit. Yeah, there we go. We are going to need some trash capacity for sure at some point, but I'm just going to hold off on that. I'll give them a church. Having healthcare issues. There we are. Budget's probably looking kind of grim too. No, that's all right. Probably reduce the the power funding to fix that. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on each of these towns. I'm just going to kind of build the core of a small town to get things going, get this region building up. I 
because we're going to do four of these this episode. Four towns, one episode. Let's take a look at... Uh, so most people seem to be traveling by the ferry. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, definitely overproducing power. There we go. That'll give us some more leeway in the budgets. Make sure everything's kind of max development here. And I think I'll actually extend this road. Just a little bit. Maybe build another road here. And here. We will eventually add commercial and stuff like that in this in this town, but for the time being, I'm I'm just focusing on on the residential developments. Uh, I want to see how the central city kind of responds to this demand. So, yeah, and that's pretty much as much as we can squeeze out of this one town. I, I'm pretty sure I understand the mechanics of this correctly. Basically, when you start a new town, when you start a new town, you you get like a you start with a sort of bonus freebie demand here. So we're kind of using that up and any demand that might exist from Plantation Bay. So uh, one tip I would give uh, new players is I don't recommend, like I, I recommend hitting this save button here and then clicking exit without saving. I have had some weird crashes that lead to file corruption when I hit save and exit to region. Maybe that's just me, maybe I just got unlucky a few times, but I've been, for, I've been playing this game for years and I always, I hit save and then I hit exit to region without saving. Uh, I find that that's, that's a, good, uh, a good tip. So, Mount Auburn, population 3,789. Uh, I think we should go back to Plantation Bay briefly and just take a look at the effect of having that town. Probably going to get a huge surge in um, in demand for industrial. Yeah, so we're going to definitely lose some population here. And I think it would be a good idea to maybe put an industrial area here. Or is it here? God. No, that this is the rail route there going up there. Okay. Yeah, so I'll build an industrial area maybe on the edge of this, uh, on the other side of this railroad track, and that can that can provide some employment for those folks. Let's just press play briefly. I'm probably going to see a fair amount of kind of abandonment and stuff. Let the existing industry build up. Oh, we've got some issues in this city too. I don't want to focus too much on uh, on fixing those for now, but let's at the very least provide a little bit of industry here. So let's take these two main roads. Oh, we can't do it there. A big commercial area here already. Let's do that and this. Track. And maybe along this one here. That way, as people kind of come into town, they are close to employment.
Just give them bus stops. There's one there. That's probably fine. focus on development close to the edge of the city where people are going to be coming in. Uh, let's give this water. Probably going to need some fire protection now that we have industry on this side of uh, the river. It's probably a good idea. What do we got? We got a huge amount of cash in here. go. There is a train station there, so people should be able to get to work. We will eventually also create a road connection to the, to the next town, but like I said, I'm going to start with rail. Uh, I am going to fix, I'm just going to quickly look at health here and see what's going on. The hospital's fine. This one... Kind of max that out. Everything else is looking good here. We just we have so much money we might as well actually pay for services. Max that one out and max this one out. We actually still have residential demand, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't care about the gaps in police coverage for now. Mostly manufacturing, a little bit of dirty industry as well. It's definitely going to have a negative effect on this area, but, you know, those uh, suburbanites, they're a scourge. Now oh, we actually have some of those underused um, schools are getting used now. There we go. See, the population has actually dropped a bit in Plantation Bay. Oops. So I am just going to leave it at that, and I'm going to go over to the next town. But yeah, we've got this uh, another uh, another industrial area that's uh, kind of on the edge of this this little town. Again, following the rail, the kind of rail ring road. Yeah, let's go back out to uh, the regional view and do our next little town. Just want to take a look at commercial demand. Yeah, we definitely got lots of that as well. Let's add uh, once uh, once we get um, once we get these towns built. I will I will be uh, probably trying to create a really big downtown area here. Um, we'll work on some different transportation options for that. Uh, I think we'll go with another small tile here. Same concept, we're going to build another small town with um, with uh, uh, a ferry and 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 rail connection as well. Uh, this is going to be called Dunberg Heights. So we've got this kind of ridge coming out here. All right. I'm going to drop down a ferry connection. That's fine. So we've got this kind of flat area here. Sort of focus on that. I 
Where's the rail connections? Here. Okay. Um. Maybe I'll build the station there. This area is actually quite close to quite close to the central city tile, so I'm sure that soon enough we will like the city will be expanding outward anyway towards this area, but we'll start by building a kind of kind of small town. Um, I'm thinking this is gonna be more of a linear linear kind of town, for sure. But maybe we'll build a road that follows kind of follows the coast here. Sort of create a crossroads in the middle. Maybe I'll do another kind of central park type area. Just symbolically. Sometimes I just put these as placeholders to kind of remind me to develop those, those areas into kind of downtowns. Small town, kind of downtown. Maybe build some square blocks. area around the railroad station. Actually, why don't we just do this? too much on making these towns pretty for the time being. go and then we'll drop 
water. The water tower. Probably need to be upgrading these to uh, the pumping station soon, but for the time being, this will do. And another one there. There we go. Good. Again, going with a kind of historical build, we will we will be changing up the building style soon, for sure. But uh, I kind of want to create these historical areas of cities with different with a different look and feel. It's looking good to me. I don't think we're really missing missing much. Again, there's the garbage disposal issue, but. So we get to a sort of similar population, sort of 4,000. Probably just need to adjust this for the budget, yep. And it's looking pretty good. Should be good. See, we're getting some uh, some kind of high wealth residential. P part of that's because there's so much industry in the other in the other tile that uh, there are areas that would be higher higher wealth residential that aren't building up because the there's sort of low desirability. Oh, well, we got up to five thousand here. Good. Same thing is true with the education as well. It takes time for for generations of Sims to get re uh, educated, so. We're, we are going to see a spike in. We're going to see a spike in in demand for, for uh, you know, dirty industry and stuff like that. This is good too because well, okay, we've got a rail station there. This is good as well because uh, I think those Sims can pretty easily get to this industrial area as well. We're going to do another industrial area kind of here, I think, on the edge of town. Still going with the, the high density industry. Just provide as many jobs in a small area as possible, really. We need to give them buses. station has buses as well. Are there any buses on the site? Yeah, there are. Okay. Let me just see here. Uh, I think we need another power plant in this city. Looks like there is not a bus. Maybe there is. It's hard to see. Yeah, there is. Okay, good. So they can get to the train. So I imagine we'll get a little bit more rail traffic in that, in that town. What's going on? Growing city cries for more juice and more water. Yeah, water and water and juice. Uh, I think it's time to go to a large water plant. We have the budget for it. Well, those, those pumping stations produce like 10 times what a normal pumping station produces. Good. We've got a 
busy street there. Interesting. To turn off that traffic view, I'll, I'll be tempted to start laying down more infrastructure, which is not the goal of this. Industrial area is filling in nicely. Oh yeah, power plants. Whoops. I gotta get rid of this mess. Uh, I think we're gonna go for maybe some cleaner power at this point. I think we'll go with nuclear. Can we afford it? Yeah, we can. Um, hmm. Thinking about where to place it. I guess we can still place it out here. Maybe I can delete an older plant. 98%, 96%. And look at the plant condition. 94%, 88%, 97 Okay, this is the oldest plant. I think we'll delete it and put a nuclear power plant in its place. To be a bit careful about funding nuclear plants because they can go kaboom. That'll give us a lots of lots of power to keep developing. Oh god. We have a fire. Oh yeah, that's this area here. Okay. Probably just build a small fire station. Right there. God, that view is just awful. Uh, did that work? Yeah, okay, that worked. They already went out. We also have another strike. Population is starting to go back up again. I want to. I want to wait until this develops, though. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Okay. Let's let's take a look at this here. Definitely want to keep our education up. It's this one that's. No, this is the big one. I think I can just increase the bus funding of the big one. Oh, it's down here. I see. Wow, we've got some, uh, some very dense, sort of higher density um, towers coming up here. That's that's, what, that's what's going on here. Well, to be honest, I think what this, uh, this little town needs is just one other, one other uh, small school. That should cut it. Maybe we'll do that, and we will increase the bus funding on this one kind of overlap the whole town. A bit, bit of an expensive way to do things, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's fixed it. That's done it. Increase the funding on that one, then we're in good shape. Let's take a look at the uh, health funding quickly here. Same, same deal. We're having a problem here for sure. Need another clinic. Everything else looks decent. Definitely getting some. Definitely getting some issues over here. This is nice. Uh, the the central city is kind of growing as these small towns grow. Small towns are not not kind of preventing the preventing uh, the central city from growing. So I think that's. That's ideal. That like there. Hopefully. It's gonna start to cost us a lot of money. Yeah, very quickly going to. Yeah, we are up to 110,000 here. Uh, industry is still not completely developed. You may be able to hear a cat meowing in the background, which, uh, pretty funny. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. 
for, fortunately, depending on how much you like cats. Yeah, we're definitely having some healthcare issues. Anyway, I don't want to get bogged down in, um, in trying to fix this city. Although, I might want to try and let that industry develop just a bit more. I wonder how the rail network's looking now that we've got those two other cities. Passenger train. Yeah, see the neighbor connections are starting to get reasonably busy. As this town becomes an industrial hub, it's definitely going to have a negative effect on the people living in the central city. But that's just uh, kind of par for the course for a growing industrial city. So we've got two other cities I want to I want to get built. I'm going to focus on that now. Mount Auburn, Dunberg Heights, the regional population is 120. Now, let me just look at my transportation view here. This rail connection is there. I'd like to build a city like here, to be honest, a small town, kind of in the middle of that river. Yep. I know it's very far in terms of transportation to build it centrally. Let's call this, we're going to call this Rob's River. And I know it's very far from the center, but again, I'm trying to create these sort of satellite towns. The city may expand kind of closer over here. The main city may expand onto this tile and then eventually reach this town and kind of gobble it up. And that's the idea. I also like this location because it's um, it's a very narrow span for a bridge. So that's good because we will definitely need a bridge here. So let's build a road along the waterfront. Let's put it closer. Uh, no, like there's good. I'll be wanting to look at things like beaches and stuff anyway later. Oh, I need to build a ferry, ferry dock, for sure. Maybe not on the area where I'm going to be building a bridge. There we go. Okay. station is going to be here on the edge of town. Very similar development model to uh, to the other three, the other two towns that we've built so far. Mm. Now, very hard to see these railroads in uh, with all the trees. There we are. It'll be interesting too to have this kind of rail line running along the river like that. We'll probably be developing along it in various ways. That's the other cool thing here is we built this infrastructure that spans a really wide area, and and it's going to it's going to a to a small town, obviously, but uh, but it it may eventually be used as a kind of trunk rail line for other types of development.
Again, we're going for a kind of mix of medium and lower density. Same deal as last time. School. Clinic. Power plant. Maybe like here. It's a bit close to the town, but that's okay. Won't the pollution won't be won't be bugging the town for the time being. And there we go, and a water tower. Because these towns don't really have any any uh, industry, uh, they they don't really need to worry so much about pollution and all that. And they don't use a lot of water and power, which ends up being quite a, quite a lot cheaper. Uh, that they this, the utilities that we are offering these citizens are going to be quite a lot cheaper than than in that big main city. As soon as you start getting industry, it just it uses so much water until you get to the the high tech industry. Uh, I think that's everything we need. Let's uh, let's press play. Yeah. So. We have definitely. Oh, we're, there we go. We got some more demand. Oh yeah. We need to give some more funding to. Let's just max that out. And let's lower the power funding. Try and eat up all this demand. Every city connection you make uh, generates extra demand as well. I didn't really give a park to this, to this town, did I? Something to consider. Yeah, this is a bigger town, for sure. Uh, yeah, we need to increase funding to that school. Max it out. I am going to give them a park for sure. Let's change things up again. Maybe I'll just go with flower garden and some more of these grassy lots. There we go, paved area, why not? It's kind of cool. Throw a couple trees down over there. Yeah, we're definitely having having issues. This this town is a little bit bigger than what I was what I was planning. I'm just gonna lower the ambulance funding. Mm, that's probably not gonna cut it though, is it? Oh we have the money. Let's just build them another clinic. There we go. And I think. 
think that's about as much as we can afford to, as much as we're going to develop there. Uh, I am going to give the city maybe trash disposal right away because I have a feeling we're going to need it. So I'll just stick a landfill over here. That's fine. And trash starts to accumulate quite quickly. When you get to like 10,000 like this, trash starts to accumulate quite uh, quite quickly in the streets, and that really lowers. Like you'll have basically rich people don't want to live in your town when there's trash in the streets, believe it or not. Okay. So I think that's good for this town. Regional population is 128,000. Let's go back to Plantation Bay briefly. And this is kind of how you, how you play this game uh, when you're going back and forth between different different city regions. You you, you got to go back and forth. Uh, otherwise, otherwise you you know you don't really see the result of developing one city on on another. Man, that is just unsightly. Okay. Now, the rail line is coming in here, so I think that the... I think the key is going to be to expand a road that connects an industrial area to that rail line. And then we're going to need something here. And maybe we can sort of do something like this. Develop all this into industry. Some of this will be redeveloped. I mean, I know, I know this. The city's getting pretty grungy. The industry kind of all over the place. Uh, we will be, we will be redeveloping some of these areas into other other functions soon enough. We need buses everywhere here. Sort of big industrial blocks. Looks good to me. Is there a bus? Oh, that's fine. Okay. We're going to take we're going to take steps as well at some point to encourage uh, cleaner industry to grow. Just not really focused on that right now, to be honest. All right, that's going to be quite a large industrial area. Uh, where are my freight rail? Where's my freight going? I've got to pay attention to that. Okay, looking for those freight stations. There's one there. Oh, that's good. I believe I built one. Yeah, there. That's that's good. So they will they will for the time being use freight freight trains. How's that port doing? Yeah, still maxed out. That's fine. Deal with that later. I have ideas about what to do in terms of a port for this city. It's definitely oops. It's definitely going to have a very big port, but I don't think it's going to be on this tile. More on that very shortly. What am I doing? There we are. Okay, I think we need to give fire protection here. We're very quickly gonna have. Uh, can I combine? I can probably, if I build one like right there, I can probably get rid of that small one that I built. I can find it. There it is. Oh, that's a game crash. Alright, well, 
I guess we'll finish that next episode. <laughs>